Okay, so in this tutorial, we're going to cover the latest on cloners, effectors, and fields. Because the new version of Cinema 4D uh, has a slightly different system. The old Cinema 4D basically just used fall off. But the new system uses fields, so let's just dive straight in. So let's just create a cloner and uh, a cube and drop the cube into the cloner. Uh, let's make the cube say 22 by 22 by 22 centimeters. If we click the cloner, um, we have two types of uh, scattering. So let's make the count say uh, 16 by 16. Now the two types are, right now it's set to per step. So if I increase count, it basically expands like the bounded region. Whereas if I choose endpoint and I increase the count, it adds uh, clones within the kind of boundaries. So both are useful modes, depending on what you need. Let's just uh, start by adding a random effector. So make sure cloner is selected, go to MoGraph, effector, a random. So we have a random scattering pattern. Uh, it doesn't just have to be the position. If you just go to parameter, uh, you can also randomly affect the scale, for example, uh, or rotation. As you can see, we're affecting a, just a rotation, or you could combine position and rotation. So uh, another thing to watch is uh, if you click on cloner, it basically has an effectors tab and just make sure that the random effector we created is added to the effector uh, kind of list. So if I were to delete random from the list, then it stops having an effect on the cloner. And I could just drag and drop it back in. So this is great. We have uh, this random effect, but let's say you want it to influence just this corner here. So that's when fields come into play. So basically effectors are applied to cloners and fields are applied to effectors. So click on random, go to fields. Let's choose a typical one. So let's choose a spherical field. Just make it a bit bigger. And now, as you can see, only the region within the sphere. So it's essentially kind of, um, kind of uh, controlling uh, the range of the random effector. So the great thing about fields is uh, you can stack them. So let's say, to make it confusing, we can add a random field to a random effector. And now why would you do this? Well, because the random field has an animation setting, and we can basically speed up, uh, kind of increase the animation speed, play it back, and the clones are now moving. Let's increase the speed slightly. And strangely, as you can see, the clones inside the sphere are kind of static. So if we just go to the blending options, inverted commas, let's say, let's put spherical above random, and let's change the blending mode to clip. So as you can see, now that uh, animated random effect is only happening inside the spherical zone. So that gives you an idea of um, how these uh, fields can be stacked to create very interesting effects. So anyway, the last thing is, uh, if I just move this uh, spherical field, you can basically uh, kind of reduce the influence of the spherical field this, uh, by pulling it back you can see like uh, the outside clones begin to get affected as well because the spherical field is kind of having less total influence. If you put it at 100, only uh, the random effect animation only occurs within the spherical field. But as it loses strength, the outer uh, clones begin to get affected as well until at 0%, it's just a random field. So you can also 
not only can you blend uh, fields, you can also uh, give them different strengths. It's very similar to Photoshop blending options. So really cool stuff. Uh, I'm just going to keep it simple. Uh, that's the end of the tutorial. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, consider leaving a super thanks if you found this tutorial useful. Uh, and I'll catch you later.